Hello, this is Rice right Snow. So last time we created this uh, full screen program. So we can change the screen size by pressing button. So like this. So right now it doesn't switch to the full screen because whenever it switches to the full screen mode, my recording software stops. So it's really annoying. So I, uh, I changed a little bit. And uh, instead of change, switching to the full screen, so now it, it changes to 1600 and uh, 900. When you press this again, and it switch back to 800, 600. So like this. Mm. But anyway, so we created this, and uh, not only changing this window size, but uh, we also changed the size of these objects like uh, this title screen text or uh, this button. We did some calculation and uh, scaled these objects to the size of the new window. However, if your program contains image like this one, this is a sample screen I created. And uh, so if your program is using uh, an image like this, then if you try to change the size of the screen then yeah so the size of the image doesn't change so so this is not good yeah so because the size of this image is not something we decided in our code so the size was already decided when you got this image so we need to change the scale of this image in a bit different way. So after the last video, I added a panel here. So I made a J panel called graphic panel and uh, do this kind of a calculation like last time and uh, set the bounds. And uh, also I made this graphic label. So if you have watched my displaying image tutorial video, then uh, you already know how to do this. So graphic label and uh, I use image icon and uh, load this JPEG image. So this one. Hmm. So set this image icon on this uh, J label. So that's what I did. But with this, uh, the size of this image doesn't change. So to fix this, we need to add uh, a few more lines. So after get this JPEG image, uh, first uh, we're gonna create an uh, integer and I'm gonna name this as image x and uh, another one image y. So maybe you can already guess but uh, so this image x will be the width of this uh, JPEG image and uh, this image Y will be the height of this JPEG image and uh, this value changes depending on the current screen size like this one so we're gonna do some calculation and so oh my gosh construction is very noisy some construction is going on in front of my house right now and uh, it's already past midnight so okay anyway so yeah and this image x is basically the same with this uh, graphic panel width this one so yeah graphic panel is here and uh, we are putting this image on this graphic panel so we're gonna basically use this number same number so we can copy this and here and the height is yeah of course this one so we're gonna use this for this uh, image height as well hmm maybe I should na name this as image y and uh, uh, image w and image uh, image h image height yeah I think this would be easier to understand sorry so so image width and image height so basically we want to change the size of this picture to this size so we can get the numbers by these calculations so 
what we need to do is apply these numbers to this picture and uh, yeah to do that we're gonna use a class called uh, image uh, not image icon but just image and uh, I'm gonna name this what whatever but I am maybe and uh, equal and image this is image icons image so it, it's a bit confusing though yeah we have created here image icon image so image I am equal image dot get image and bracket dot and here we can use this get scaled instance uh, method in this image class by using this we can scale uh, the pictures images and here so we need to enter three parameters it says with heights and hints mm, hints so with is we're gonna use this one so yeah please change to this width and uh, this height so please use this height and this hints is uh, we're gonna type like this image dot so you can choose from these options and uh, this time we're gonna choose this just default option but uh, depending on your like purpose maybe you want to choose something else like uh, this scale fast choose an image scaling algorithm that gives higher priority to scaling speed than smoothness of the scaled image or stuff like that so there are several options but we're gonna choose this default um, this construction is okay so scaling is done now this image has this width and this height and but so we cannot put this im like this because this is not the uh, image icon but uh, image so now we need to convert this image to image icon so so you can do that by typing like this image equal new image icon and here inside of this bracket im and so now we can receive these parameters and put into this image like this so set here image and uh, yep I think it's done mm. so yeah let's check it okay and uh, if you click this start button yeah so now not only this text and bottom but uh, this image is also larger now so scaling image is working like this of course you can set full screen too so right now I didn't like switching to full screen so I disable this if statement and instead I I load this one okay let's disable this and uh, all right let's do this okay and uh, click start okay now it's displayed in full screen if you click start uh, it go goes back to the window mode yeah so it's working mm. yeah and uh, this is also another sample by using the same image actually this is uh, another version of adventure that i used a long time ago for one of my tutorial video so i changed the graphic to this uh, nice nice animated picture and also i added this one more button and so if you click this you can change the screen size so now screen size is 1440 times 900 and now 800 600 hmm. Hmm, so yeah it's pretty nice I think one more thing I want to share with you guys if you're gonna use an image and uh, also if you're gonna do this kind of a screen size change I'd recommend you to prepare how to say I would recommend you to prepare images for your highest screen size so if you are thinking to 
let your game play in full screen mode, then uh, you should prepare image based on the full screen size. Because if default picture size was small, and uh, if you let the program enlarge it, then uh, the quality of the picture will be degraded. But uh, you know, if you have a big image and uh, if you let the program make it smaller, then uh, it still look kind of okay. But anyway, I think that's everything about this uh, full screen screen size changing tutorial. So thank you so much for watching and see you again. Bye.